All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk, based in Tamworth. Hello all and welcome, it's match day 5 in the PCP Airgun Battle League Rifles edition. We have today the Reximex Lyra up against the Gamo Arrow. Now the Gamo Arrow didn't have a great first time out, uh, neither did its compatriot here, the Gamo GX250, both struggled out of the bag. But uh, hopefully now they've had a little bit of fettle in there, going to give us a game. Uh, but it's the arrow that's in there today, up against the lawyer who did really well, so he's got a hard game again today, uh, sadly for him. But um, there's only one way to find out to see how this is going to go, and that's to get him out there, so let's get this on. Okay, it's game one. It's the arrow to go first, and he'll be shooting into the left-hand target. Let's see who he gets on today. That's a double load, we can't count that. Mm. Still not very good is the answer. That was very high with his first one, probably a 5 or 6 scored there maximum. Can the Lyra get off to a better start? You can, that's a 10. That's the problem with their gamo at the minute. They're not really gracing themselves in any kind of glory. They're struggling from out the door. That's better, that's a 10. Fair shot might have just been a little bit wayward. Another 10 for the Lyra. Just low annoying. Can't afford to lose these points at the minute. I think the Lyra needs a bit of feeding, so you'll have to excuse me for a minute. Yeah, it's, it's a, bit of a bit of a shame that arrow can't get itself up and running because uh, I know when it's on full, it scored massively well in our uh, test and review, so uh, whether it's just lack of use and the, the sitting air in it at the minute that can't get it up and running, I don't know. It might be just one of those ones that's going to take four or five shots just to get to where it needs to be. But uh, it's not as bad as its first time out. At least we have had a 10 and a 9 off it. The first one I'll give you is a little bit wayward, but uh, it's getting better. Nice 10 again from the Lyra. Uh, type of gun the Lyra, I think they could do the 135, I've got to be honest with you. And the arrow is now out. So we'll get him filled up. I can't even put it down to the pellets while the arrow is performing. It's using the Air Arms Diablo fields and they're usually pretty solid to be fair. You'll get the odd one every now and again that may be just slightly out of shape but uh, besides that they're, they're pretty good. They're a, a decent all rounder to be honest when you come through pellet testing there. They're always there, they're always one of the ones that uh, seem to do well shall we say, so they're pretty much a good all rounder these. It's been quite a while since I filmed the, uh, the 
the pellet testing on this, I can't remember what exactly was decent in it to be fair. High this time, low last time, so it's not getting any better. Ten for the lawyer again. It's just a matter of how many points can the arrow lose here, I think. On high again. Try and help him out with a little touchdown, but he goes high, he goes low. You can't really win with a gun, to be fair. It's uh, Out to the full house for the Lyra. I'll get the cards in now. I count how many the arrow has lost by, but uh, I'm guessing it's well above five anyway. Let's see how we go on. Okay, first round scores was 50 plays 41 to the Lyra who takes the first round. Arrow back in. I think he's going to be a bit too late from here unless he's all of a sudden found his hero, but. Still high and I've just took that down a hell of a lot so I have no idea now what's going on with this gun. It just shoots where it wants to go. It's a 10 for the Lyra. Already lost two points down I think at least in this round. So He's up against it, looks like he's going to lose in another straight two rounds again. Wow. I'm taking it down by loads and it's just going higher and higher. The lawyer there just keeps pumping in its tens. Taking no notice really of how badly the arrow is doing, it's doing its own game. Well, now what would make that go by that far down? Another 10 for the Lyra though, he's not messing about. I've not made any alterations on this. And now that moves an inch up without an alteration. That is absolutely mad. Something here is not right and uh, I've got to be honest and say I'm not quite sure what it is. Everything seems solid. I'm not resting the bottle, I'm resting it on the stock. Just can't get round to sorting it out, I really can't. I'll bring it up a touch now. I've been going down because it was shooting high. Another bullseye for the Lara, who looks like he's going to clock out in its full amount, although it doesn't look like we'll get a third round because the arrow again has just been woeful. Well, not being great, has it? Straight in again for its full 100 points out of the 100 he could have scored. 
well done to the lawyer today who takes the day. I have no idea what's going on with the arrow. Um, it wasn't like that in test and review. I don't know what's going on with it now. But it seems to be when you're shooting though, it makes different sounds each time. So whether that's anything to do with it, I don't know. Um, it's like there's a valve fault or something. It's up, it's down. But uh, as I say, originally when we first had it, it wasn't anything like that. So um, I really don't have any idea. Baffled me that one has. But uh, match day five goes to the Reximex Lyra. Full 100% there. Shame we didn't get a chance to have a go, I think, at the uh, the rings. But when you've not got really somebody who you can battle against, it's not really a good day, is it? Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.